Hello again everyone, my name is Arios and welcome to Feudal Fantasy Defense. Now first off, this is a defense game but not a tower defense game. I think it's more of a strategy defense game where you use units to interact or to uh, bar the way for the opponents that you're going up against. I don't know, I haven't played a defense game in a while. I haven't played a good defense game in a while, I guess I should say. But this looked good, I thought I'd give it a shot. Let's see, tutorial course. Oh, oh. Let's uh, let's start your training, Captain. Landlords need your help to protect their lands from invasion. I figured as much. Why is this really weird resolution? There we go. Uh, you're in charge of the castle land management and defense. Let's begin your training with castle area management. Oh my gosh. Click on the construction area. Okay. Oh my gosh. This panel shows the name and the statistics of what you selected. Okay. Jeez, this is going to be a lot more detailed than I was anticipating. Click on the button to the, open the building list, then select a farm. Okay. Oop. And a farm. Uh, before building, it check the description of the farm. You can see the building cost and how it benefits you. Okay. Build a new farm with 40 coins. The farmers will pay 20 coins if the farms stay unarmed. 10 if it's damaged, I guess unharmed. Uh, each farmer will pay two coins to take shelter in the castle during an assault, and then it comes gets can have up to six farmers. Okay. Building a farm costs 40 gold. Got that? It will farm host six... Wait, what? The farm will host six farmers. Each one pays one coin to be protected during an attack. You get 20 coins for saving the building. Click on the build button. Okay. Plunk. Oh, okay. I, I, okay. I'm gonna say this right off the bat. I don't like the path. Like the 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 path makes it look much noisier than it actually should be. So if it was a solid wooden path, it would probably be a little bit more relaxing. Six farmers are now living in the castle area, but orcs are often raiding these lands. They need a place to shelter. Therefore, you may only earn 20 coins if you save the building from the next attack, orc attack. Open the castle panel. Let's find a way to protect your farmers. Okay. Dorms. Civilian rooms, a barracks. Build a dorm. Click plus that can host up to 15 farmers during the assault. Plus. The farmer now have a, place, a safe place to hide and will pay each time they hide there. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Let's hire some warriors now. Those orcs must be kept off the farms. Build a barracks. All right. Note that the amount of money earned per wave decreased because you have to pay your troops after each attack, which makes perfect sense. Finally, soldiers and civilians need food. You cannot get more people, soldiers or civilians, without enough food. Let's fight some orcs now. Okay. Plunk. Uh, you must protect the castle. All right. Enemies come from every end of the road. Floating cubes show where enemies come from, clicking on them to see how many enemies will attack. Orc pawns, too. Easy enough. Okay, your troops come from the castle. You can select a group, left click, and right click to move. Oh, so it's like an RTS. So, left click and then right click? Wait, what? What? Okay, I got a footman. Duh, duh, he's not. Oh, 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 I didn't see it on the mini map. Okay, next. Troops attack enemies when they are close enough. Game will pause when all troops are outside, so you may give them first orders. Before the attack, click again on the wave button when you're ready. We're done. Get rid of this wave. Clean the second wave to finish this tutorial. Fight well, Captain. Okay, well, let's give it a shot. So how do I know where they attack? Uh, do they just patrol? Oh, no. They just go there and stop. So how do I know what path they're going to use? I mean, I guess in the tutorial, they're probably only going to attack the middle. Okay, so these guys are going to come up front. What is FTM? I don't know what that means. Okay, they're close enough. Attack. Chink. Chink. I actually... <coughs> I'm dying. I actually really like these kind of defense games where there's a, an economic system involved in it. Okay, these guys are taking a bit of heat. Oh, well, that was easy. I did it. Okay. Um, so I get plus 26 wave. 
So I can see what, I, I'll, what I'll be up against next wave, which is four orc pawns. So then what I probably should do is castle. Let's do more. So I need more food as well. Oh, 20 food is what I'm generating right now. Oh. So build, what does a village do? I don't know what a village does. Let's build another farm. Build. So farm earns me cash and, so I guess I can build over it at some point. Uh, a farm earns me cash and um, food. Yeah, some of the maximum people I can have in the village is 40. Okay, so let's see. What does this mean? Okay, let's add another one. I've got plenty of dorms for all my people. So I get plus 46 a wave maximum if the building survives. Okay, so let's wave. So these guys just came out. So let's put you guys up front because I... Oh, wait. Oh, footmen. Oh, that's what that means. Okay. So I guess I have to be ready to... So that's what the, these are my units. And since I only have footmen to start with, that's all I'm going to use at the moment. Okay, so then what's, what are these? Oh, I know what that grows food for my people. Crafters and villagers living in the castle territory. Merchants trading in the markets in the castle land. Nobles spending time on the castle territory. So there's gonna be a lot, uh, economically speaking, in this game. Food consumed by all your people, soldiers and civilians at each turn. So I have 21 total, which three groups are footmen. So I have three, six, nine. Damn, you're fine. Soccer, six, seven, one, five, get low. Oh, God. One of the groups got passed. Get retreat, guys. So if they come up to it, do they instantly attack it? Because that means that my best bet would be to put all of my farms in the far back and putting everything else up front. Well, I don't know what other buildings. I mean, I, I see some of the buildings, like the villages and stuff like that, but I don't fully know. And it does seem like before every wave starts, I get a chance to put everyone down. And I. So, plus 46 more coin. Okay. So this is fascinating. Like, this is... This is a full economic... Um... Game. Which I wasn't expecting at all. Although it doesn't seem like I can build villages and everything else yet. Which I assume that's probably because this is a demo question mark. Okay, another farmer. Plonk. I need to go to my castle. Give them a dorm. <coughs> and, ooh, archers. Archer three. Wage is three per wave. So is that if they survive or if they die? Like, if they die, do I lose them, or... So, do I lose 40 per wave? What does the 40 mean? What does that mean? Unit type... I don't I don't know what the, the up and the down means for it. Oh, oh, oh! I earn 40, but lose 20? Question mark? Uh, boo. Uh, boo. Okay. Uh, oh, it costs 40 to buy, 20 to sell, and I just sold back and wasted money. Gotcha. Okay, let's start this wave. I only have one group of footmen to start with. So, oh, I got two. I, I knew I had more than one. Oh, oh, what happened? Oh, God. I can't Wazda around anymore. What happened? I can't. What? Why can't I move forward anymore? Oh, God. Oh, God. What happened? Oh, there we go. Okay, so what's my way? It's four orcs, two pawns, two warriors. Are they all coming down the middle? Okay, so for the first wave, they're all coming down the middle. No problem. I've got more than enough units to back them up. So I'm won I wonder how much detail they're going to put into the whole economy because regular RTSs are you build up resources, you build an army, you build a village, that kind of thing. But this one, <coughs> well, and you also usually go on the attack. But this one, it looks like you build up your army strictly to defend your castle. 
which to me is it it's it takes away a bit of the the RTS part of it, but adds like it adds a a, a bit of excitement to how the game will play with all the extra resources. So I only got 52 that way, which is fine. How much does it cost to build a farm? The, it costs 40 to build a farm. That would be smart, but I wouldn't have enough money. Oh, excuse me, on the next wave to build them another dorm. So I'm gonna actually get some archers since I've not had them yet. All right, so let's go ahead and start the next wave. This is cool, like this is super fun. So what am I up against? Plonk, uh, orc spawn, okay. So is there, oh, oh God, go away. Is there a point, see, it does it, it did it again. <coughs> I'm dying. Okay, let's just go ahead and start because I don't know what direction they're gonna go. And there's no point in me sorting through my guys if I don't know where they're going. Okay, I'm gonna put you guys here. I still am curious if, if they, how they attack. Do, do, do. Okay, so we got one going up here. So you guys go up here, or two going up there. Uh, oh, they're all seeming like they're going up there. Archers, back them up. And I think there were four units. Okay. So the UI does need a little bit of work. It does need to be hashed out just a little bit. And um, I think like some of the th icons need to be moved over. But, I mean, it's... I'm not... I, 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 I never uh, shit on these games whenever they're in development. So I'm, I believe this one is still in development so it's still super fun like i'm i i could it, when they when they actually go for the full release i could see myself just sitting and playing this kind of game for just hours because i do it all the time okay i do it all the time with these kind of defense style games is i just sit and i play and i play and i lose track of time and i'm an idiot okay so i need another farm Build. Oh wait, no, no, no! I can't because I can't afford dorms. Okay, let's expand my dorms. <coughs> Excuse me. I'll expand my dorms, and then so two and two again. Okay. So then this way, my next wave, I can go ahead and do villagers. So I assume they're gonna go down. Plonk, 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 and start the wave. It's it's really chill. Like it's it's very it's very easy right now. I assume that sh I mean it's level based, which that's that's different to me in these kind of RTS type games. Cause usually um it's wave based, but the different waves will just be different locations, which this is kind of what it is, but this one has you having to build an economy in these different places, which I don't know if that's supposed to be the case. This is the first level, so I would have to see on the next level if that's how it would be. And we're just murdering things. I know the one thing I, I kind of hope they do is they, they let the orcs drop resources every so often. Like, maybe drop a little bit of gold or something like that because it's weird that you kill them and you don't really get anything out of them. Jeez, those captain guys are tough. I mean, they didn't kill my dude, so it's whatever. It's schwatevs. Okay, so let's build, no, I want to go here. I want to build another farm, which this is probably exceedingly excessive right now because it seems like I can handle it with what I've got. So eight orc pawns, and eight orc warriors. So castle, uh, ooh, it's 40, ooh, maybe I boned myself here. Nah, because the pawns aren't the problem, it's the warriors. How many warriors were there? Four, I think I'll be okay. So this is what, reset buildings, removes idle state? Eh, keep going. Okay, so I'm guessing they're going to push in and scatter. Let's see what they do. Okay, so, yep, I was correct. So you guys are gonna go here. You guys are gonna go here. You guys are gonna defend here. Even though they're archers, they should be able to handle the pawns without me, without much issue. Ah, oh no, you guys, get closer. And this should be fairly, <coughs> I'm dying. 
should be fairly easy for the first wave. Okay, it looks like we've got more of the orc warriors going into the middle. All right, archers. Oh god, they're attacking my farm. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Finish them off, finish them off. Okay, come down here. Ooh, the, there's a warrior up on the top and on the bottom. But if I let them kill them... Archers, will you shoot? I mean, I guess that's a, a strategy, is to use some of them as bait. Uh, okay, okay. Let's see. You guys come down here. We need help with that, because it'll take it'll take them a little bit to destroy the farm. Oh, what the? What the heck are you guys doing? Oh, that's my archers. Oh, I can aggro them and then run with them? Come on, finish that dude off. Okay, you go up here, help them. You go down here. Nope, not you. You go down here. Which I think we're done with this side anyway. And then you go up here, and then you go up here. So is it that they have to stay standing for me to get paid, or... I think that's they have to stay standing. Run, archers, run. Run. Run for your life. Oh, God. Footmen, help them. Help my archers. Oh, God. Okay. Now we get them. Shoot them. Get them. Archers. Come on, archers. What are you doing? Why are you walking toward them? Okay. Well, we're done anyway. I did it. <clears throat> what else? Okay. Let me just for the sake of looking. Let's see level two. Okay. It's the exact same level. Survive five waves. Save 200. And oh. Oh. So they add challenges to each one. Or different goals. Interesting. And there's another wave or another path for them to come down. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm going to leave this here. So, to recap, I, first off, I really like this concept. Uh, an economical, or an e economy-based defense game. I can see myself just getting, like, super sucked into this type of game. Just to sit there and find a good strategy to build up and then let my warriors kind of do their thing. I wish I got more interaction. Like, you could send out mercenaries or something, or, like, quickly hire mercenaries and throw them down. Or like have some kind of ability to make your farmers come out of the farms and fight and you sacrifice them but they could slow down the enemy kind of thing but that'd be kind of that'd be really fun it's very it can be very addicting but i will say that as of right now quite a bit of it needs a little bit of work mainly the the path i think the path is too noisy there's too much going on there's too many little rocks it's a little hard to focus on it with that and the UI probably needs to be spaced out, it's not, it, which everything else kind of seems like uh, Unreal assets kind of thing, like very simple assets, which is fine. They could keep this the whole game, the whole full release if it plays uh, well beyond that. But I do like how it looks. I do like how it feels. It could use, just use a little work with some of the visuals, and this game would be ready for like. Uh, an alpha level in my opinion I mean this is I don't know what version this is supposed to be but to me that would that could be added as an alpha level because then they would have to just replace assets and get their full graphics up and everything like that that's just my opinion that's just based off of what I played that's just the review and how I've looked at it but anyway if you like this game make sure to hit that subscribe button if you have any suggestions on games you'd like for me to play leave a comment down below because we might play that game next time see ya